Okay. Come here. All right. Mm. Let me actually quit game. Switch this to just chatting for a sec. time so I suppose it's twin paranormal time Devil's Cabin. Dude, they're speaking to us from outside right now. We are trapped in this cabin right now. Let them in. Who let them in? Are you kidding me? This is crazy. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, this may totally creep you out. Dude, they're speaking to us from outside right now. We are trapped in this cabin right now. Let him in. Who let him in? Are you kidding me? This is crazy. No way. That's whether you believe in ghosts or not. This may totally creep you out. Ooh, dude, oh. He's coming. He's coming. This is some very compelling let evidence. Let Who let him in? Are you I don't know what it is, but it's not nice. The message "Don't let them in" is so fucking creepy. It's so fucking creepy, dude. dude there's no way. Whoa. Was a loud bang dude this is ex exciting this is it the bolian lodge is it a lodge or a cabin we all have to be stuck in that thing dude it's tiny <laughs> what the f and we're rolling backwards <laughs> down this steep hill oh good hey hey, hey oh what? shit oh f that thing is incredibly small. I wonder if I can park right here. I'll run right into the front door. I'm not quite sure if I'm in. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This place <laughs> looks freaky. You remember the last cabin that we went to that was here in Virginia City is literally up the hill. And get this, apparently this cabin is worse than that one. Is it actually? What's that? What are you? Worse than that. Early up the hill. And get this. Apparently, this cabin is worse than that one. Is it actually? What's that? What are you? Honestly, I feel like this cabin's <laughs> big enough for the one of us. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for only one of them. <laughs> There's no way more than that many people could live in there. Hold up. There we go. Hi, River. I think right now what we should do is we should rock, paper, scissors, and whoever loses has to go in there all alone the whole night. Ooh. Yeah! We all What the f***? Okay. That's okay. a sign that all of us have to do it. I don't know if we can redo that. How did three. all of us use scissors? Two out of three. <laughs> Wyatt really doesn't want to go in this place. New bet. If I win, I'm changing my flight. I'm going home. What? <laughs> okay, I'll rock off. Wait, we just all River canceled one. each other out. Yeah. No, that's a full blow. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. No, there's no way. We're going in. We're gonna get this done. You're not changing your flight. Got it? That you were lightly. Yeah. Damn. Let's do this. In 1859, there was one of the worst mining disasters in Nevada. Welcome history. back. Thank a massive you. methane fire caused by an unattended lamp broke out 800 feet below the surface. Deep down in those depths, dozens of miners had tried to fight for their lives, but unfortunately could not make it out alive. It is estimated that this fire had caused the deaths of 30 to 40 miners. This tragic event went on for days, and rescue attempts were made, but very few came out alive. And most of the victims were never even recovered. With this fire being one of the biggest in Nevada, some say that this could have been the devil's work. Hell is the devil's final destination, not his current address. Jesus speaks of hell as a real place. In the name of Jesus Christ, you ain't never been saved. You cannot be saved. Satan is putting on He's at it's go hard, dude. Liar. He manifests in a very distinctive way in every case I've ever had him. Lucifer, on the other hand, will never manifest the same way in any case I've ever seen him, which I've seen him in about four or five cases. It wouldn't take long after this disaster for the Gold Hill area to fall into hardship. And over the years, as businesses and mines closed, the town would slowly shut down. Now, way back then, directly across the street from the Yellow Jacket mine, once sat the town's boarding houses, brothels, and even a saloon. Unfortunately, many times, these places would be the site of some very dark things that happened within their walls. It was super common for gunfights to break out in the streets that resulted in people losing their lives, as well as there were many murders and disappearances in that area. Area. And one of those murders was a very well-known lady of the night, Julia Bulette. On the morning of January 20th, 1867, Bulette's body was found by her maid in her bathroom. She had unfortunately been strangled and bludgeoned to death by a man that went by the name of John Millane. A little over a year later, the French drifter was arrested and charged for the crime. Some say that he wasn't even the one to commit this crime, but eventually he was put to death by hanging. Hello. Before River. his death, he had sworn up and down that he was not the one who actually killed Julia Bulette, but he was an accomplice to stealing all of her belongings. Yes, she was a lady of the night, but surviving in Virginia City during that time.